What's good, y'all? I'm back with another outdoor video today. The audio might be kind of iffy, but you know, I try to work with it because I really like to get out here and just uh, do more content that's not inside the studio and where I usually record at. So let's get into our topic today, which is the importance of creating and you know, just kind of getting your thoughts and your ideas on the canvas. So I think from the time that we're younger, we always have like a huge imagination. We could sit in one room and just like play and think of all these different ways to see the world around us. You know, when we were younger, our thoughts were more like abstract. We could do certain things and have certain ideas that you wouldn't necessarily have once we're older. Um, but once we're younger, I feel like many people abandon that, that childlike imagination, that childlike ability to put their ideas out there, to see the world in a way that's not necessarily traditional. So as we become adults, we look around and see people who become musicians, people who become music artists, people who become drawers and painters and uh, sketchers. And nowadays we have people who are influencers and videographers, photographers. There are so many different avenues for being a creative. And I think that having all those avenues for putting your thoughts and ideas out into the world is such an important thing. I think one of the biggest parts about it is the fact that when you start off, you're not necessarily gonna be very good. You're gonna be having to learn from others. You're having to peep game from others. You're having to learn how to do different things. You're having to learn different tricks and different methods of the trade. But eventually you start to cultivate your own style. You start to learn how to do things in a way that others can't really emulate. They can't really do the same things that you do. It also allows you to have your own unique style, your own unique way of doing things. It allows you to stand out not just with others, but within yourself, you start to feel like, no, you're not just another cog in the machine. And I think nowadays, especially with the inclusion of social media, we have so many more different avenues to share our creations with others and be able to build a tribe and a community with others who also do the similar things that we do. So if you're on Instagram or TikTok, YouTube, all these different social media platforms, you're also able to grow individually because you know that if you're good, or if you're consistent, other people will join in and be able to see what you do and they'll be able to enjoy the creations just as much as you do. So one of my biggest pieces of advice nowadays is simply to take advantage of social media if you're a person who uses it regularly. Don't just come on social media looking to gossip or be involved in mess or you know, looking at you know, just entertainment things. Look at social media as an avenue to share your thoughts and ideas and be able to tap into that inner child that you knew from when you were younger. But yeah, those are just my quick thoughts on this topic. Um, I might do another video on this pretty soon simply because I feel like there's so many different ways I can take this. And many people have so many hidden gifts and so much potential inside them, but they simply don't believe that they're good enough to put their work out there. And the truth of the matter is you're probably way better than you think you are. So, you know, don't shortchange yourself, put yourself out there and you know, see where it takes you from there. But yeah, guys, that's it for me. Be sure to hit the like button and also comment below if you feel like this video really helped you out. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and subscribe for more.